Hey, David here with uh, Guide Recommended. Going to watch uh, Brad make some furled leaders with Hog Creek furled leaders. Thanks. Furled leaders. Yeah. Uh, what are they? So they're a, they're a twisted leader. Uh, they've been made for hundreds of years. They used to use horse hair. Okay. To make them. Um, they would make leaders. They would actually make their fly lines that way. Uh, today we're using a synthetic thread to make them. Some people use silk okay. to make them. I use a embroidery thread. It's a polyester thread. Um, so it's color fast. It's mildew proof. Doesn't mildew. It's Any, the same thing they do all the embroidery on your shirts. With. Okay. Anything I, I guess special about furl leaders? I mean, is there a quality that's better? Their longevity is one thing. You'll get a season instead of a trip out of a furled leader. Nice. There's no memory when you get done making one. They're very limp. Okay. And I'll show you that in the end. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So, so you got a, a machine. Got a machine. Um, there's a there's a sewing machine motor in here. The hooks turn the same way. Um, we're making essentially what we're making is a two-stranded rope. Okay. okay. So we start off by tying snowverhand loop here into our material, and we hook it on the hook. <laughs> now we adjust the taper of the leader by how many threads we put between our hooks and our pegs. Okay. So huh. I'm making a dry fly leader. So I'm going to go around the hook and peg five turns of thread. There's five turns of thread. Yep. Now I'm going to go down five turns. against the end peg, come back against the peg here, back around that peg, back around the end peg, come back up to the first peg, and run the thread through itself to lock it to that post. So I've just locked that thread to the post like this, so okay. it can't come undone. So I come back down, come back down here, <clears throat> Come to the end peg again or the end hook, and I want to put five Holy threads cow. here. So I have five threads here. I'll tie that off with another overhand loop, just like I did the start. Go on the hook, cut off my tag ends. <laughs> And this, end, and this ends up being what length leader? This is going to be a five foot leader. So what I've got is between the first hook and the first peg, I've got five threads. And between the second peg and the hook, I've got five threads. Yep. Between the end peg and the hook, there's three. And between the end peg and this hook, there's three. So when it furls together, it's going to be ten, eight, six. Okay. Tapered leader. Yep. That builds the taper into the leader. So the next step is get it ready to furl. I take the end and I put it onto my hook here, which is weighted, keep some tension on it. Yeah. And I put this this tippet spool in as a, a little spreader to keep the legs apart before it's ready to furl. And then I just lift the threads off of the pegs. <clears throat> and we're ready to furl. Okay. So I've got a pedal down here that I push and start start the furling process and as you watch watch the end peg down here you'll see it shrink you'll see it compress inside when it gets compressed to the point that it can no longer take any more twist it's going to furl over itself and that's going to happen here pretty quickly it's going to furl there it goes and it runs right up there you just finish it, it'll twist itself back just very slow. And there you are. There's your leader. <laughs> now all that remains to do is take it off the pegs and put the loops in. <laughs> so I, I've got a little I've got a little tool here. They're called mitt pickers. I don't know if you can see oh, yeah. the little hook there. Yep. Okay. So that's what I take it off with, and I just go in here and pull it off, go over here, pull that one off, then I've got it captured. I'll reach down here, take it off the end, 
and then I'll, I'll kind of just let this relax a few seconds to get the last of the twists out of it. Okay. So I'm ready, now I'm ready to put the loop in. You, you got this down. So I'm going to be working right here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Ready? Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to capture this leader with the hook and we're going to pull it through. The whole leader through there, like that. Now what I've got uh, I just, is a loop. Yep. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna make a locking loop called a Shorb loop. It was invented by the man of the name of Skip Shorb. <coughs> and I'm gonna go through the go through the legs of the furl. I'm gonna go across, I'm gonna capture the other side of that, and I'm gonna pull it through itself like like that and that's the loop now I'm going to refine a little bit with my tool here and there you go <coughs> now you want to put the loop in the ring in there too yeah right. okay so we're gonna put the ring in now okay so I'm gonna pick the ring up with a crochet hook oh, this is yeah. size 12 yeah so I'm gonna pick the ring up on the crochet hook and now I'm going to go through the end of that leader with the crochet hook, capture it. I'm going to run that. Let's put that ring on. I, yep. Can you see that ring on there? Oop, just lost. Can you yep. see that ring Got on there? It. Okay. So after that, I'm going to change tools, and I'm going to go with my little latch hook again. And I'm going to go back through the leader like that, and I'm going to reach down and grab the other end where we put the the butt hook on. Yep. And I'm going to put that over there, and I'm going to pull that over the butt like that. Then I'm going to pull that whole leader out of there till we have a loop with that with that ring. You can see that little ring right yep. there. Okay, oh, it's, it's yeah, looped. Oh, I get it now. It's looped over on it's it. It's basically just a yeah. cat's paw. Yeah. And I'm just going to tighten it up, and there we are. Completed leader. Nice. Got a ring. In this end, I got a loop in this end to attach to your fly line, yeah. and we're ready to go. So, Brad with Hog Creek Furled Leaders. Thanks, Brad. You're welcome. So, if you can, check out Hog Creek Furled Leaders. Brad does a fantastic job and uh, you can find them all over the Midwest. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Guide Recommended. Really appreciate it.